Hey everyone, this is Sam Batnardi here at Batnardi headquarters in Tinley Park, Illinois. And today I'm joined with Matt Isaacson, one of the Hive concierge here at Batnardi and the leading wedge expert within the company. Uh, Matt's a great wedge player, has been around golf for 20 years, class A, PGA professional, knows everything there needs to know about wedges. And today we're so proud to introduce our HLX 5.0 Forge wedges. The name of our wedge, the HLX, is a high helix cut tool that cuts the face of the wedges at a very fast rate, which imparts a lot of spin on the ball, and it's very, very soft. So we're still using a lot of our milling expertise in this wedge line. But again, the body of the head uh, and the whole shape of the head is forged, which again is the most premium and superior way to make a wedge. We start out with a very soft carbon steel material as a base metal, and we continue to we hammer the wedge, the raw shape, over and over and over again to get that, that near shape and where it's just so soft, it's buttery soft. It's a much superior process than casting. It's a lot more expensive, but it's a great process where a lot of the tour players use forge, but the mass market wedges, because they're cheaper, are cast. We want the most premium feeling and the, the best possible product that we can offer to you and to our consumer, so we choose to forge our wedges. That's why our price point is a little bit higher. Second is the two finishes you'll notice here. You see that we have our uh, beautiful graphite PVD finish. Last year it was more of a black smoke. It was a darker, a little bit more jet black. This is a little bit lighter. Through a lot of testing with the game's best players and through a lot of the best amateurs uh, here in the States, we found that just a little bit more of that matte appearance performed better than shiny in some instances. So this again is a new finish for us, this graphite PVD. And you'll notice on the chrome, we tweaked a little bit. It's not really, it's still a shiny chrome, but it's a little bit more satiny. Uh, it's beautiful, layer resistant out in the sun. When you're hitting those shots, you don't want to be blinded on those wet shots. So those are the two major differences in the finish. Uh, next, you're also going to notice on the wedges that we changed the milling process on the design. So in the HLX 3.0, this whole back flange had our micro honeycomb face milling. And we did that to have that key Betnardi look, that inimitable Betnardi uh, appearance with the honeycomb milling. It's what Betnardi brand is known for. But we moved that milling up to the top right here uh, across our word mark. And on this flange, we use what's called a ladder milling, which is more of a skin milling. It's a very light material. So what we're able to do is raise the center of gravity to get those really nice flighted shots. And Matt's gonna talk a little about why that's important in addition to the grinds and what we're offering now. Exactly, so like Sam touched on is by raising that CG, uh, by doing the skin milling here, we're able to keep a little bit more weight up here on the flange. Uh, that's gonna allow us to control our trajectory even a little bit more than, than previous years before, um, which was also you know one of the, the strong performances of the club to begin with. Uh, but also at the same time, keeping the spin high. So as a wedge player knows, you know, it's easy to control distance through, through a flight and not just hitting it as high as you can. Uh, so we're gonna see here's a lot more distance control, a lot more flighted shots, a lot more spin around the greens. Um, and then we're gonna offer that in a couple different grinds. So we mentioned we have a 48 degree now in the HLX uh, 5.0, which is gonna kind of help fill that gap between manufacturers, you know, high lofted pitching wedge, the, you know, pitching wedge moving to 43, 44, 45 degrees. Uh, that 48 is becoming more of a, a standard gap wedge. Uh, so we added the 48 degree in the C grind, and we also added the 54 into an RJ grind. The RJ grind, uh, to touch on that sole and the grind, is going to have a little bit more heel and toe relief. The RJ grind is designed for that player who likes to manipulate their wedge, um, get kind of creative around the greens, open the club face, hit the flop shots, play it off a little bit tighter wise. Well, the C grind is more of a straightforward wedge. It's a square faced wedge that's going to be for that player who likes to just keep the face square hit full shots with a square club face. Uh, so a little less manipulation around the greens, but somebody who maybe just doesn't want to try to manufacture those crazy shots like a, you know, some of the players on tour would, uh, that's gonna be a little bit more forgiving in those aspects. Absolutely, and, uh, and one of the key things too in terms of our wedge shape is the feedback that we've gotten from one of the nation's best club fitters is that we performed 10% lower launch compared to the number one leading wedge out there and 12% more spin. So in terms of the overall shape, we felt it was very important to keep the integrity of that shape with the leading edge and the, the back flange and everything. We just wanted to perfect this design 
by tweaking the milling pattern. And by doing that, again, raising that center of gravity, providing a lower launch, we feel like we perfected already the best performing wedge on the market. So we're so excited for this HLX 5.0 forge wedge line to hit market early November, 2022. Um, and again, just two beautiful designs. Love these wedges. These are gonna be available in three shaft options, our KBS High Rev, uh, Nippon. You also have uh, both true tempers, the S200 and the S400. Uh, we changed the grip a little bit this year. You still see our name up top, very subtle branding with a nice Lampkin uh, grip right here, very classy. And uh, again, just a beautiful product and we're so excited to continue on that wedge line for Bettinardi Golf.